Hey nerds, Todd Simmons coming at you again with a little more automation. Uh, today, uh, in this video, I want to talk about um, Postman. More specifically, uh, I've had lots of questions about APIs, um, as we do a lot of them in Python when we're looking at automation for different types of sites. Um, today, I'm going to focus on installing Postman. Now, Postman's a great way. Uh, if you're not real familiar with code, you want to start looking at APIs, you want to understand how APIs work. Uh, the nice thing about Postman, which is made by Google, is it's kind of a way to get into APIs at the same time not having to, to know code or using requests or something like that in Python. Uh, so I'm going to do a short video series uh, with Postman and I figured I would actually start with the installation uh, of Postman. So today with the installation, I want to focus on uh, three different areas. Uh, installing it for a Mac, installing it for Windows, and then installing it for Linux. Uh, I've chosen uh, Ubuntu Linux, uh, the desktop version. Uh, so it's got a GUI, uh, makes it really easy to install. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started. So um, I'm going to start with a Mac just because I'm using a Mac. Uh, I, I do have a simulator set up for Windows and the uh, Ubuntu Linux. Uh, you'll notice it's in my Eve and G server. Uh, thinking about doing some Eve and G videos. I know there's a lot of them out there. Um, but if anybody's interested in some, some Eve and G videos, uh, certainly uh, let me know and I'll start to make some. So uh, let's start with the Mac. Uh, so you'll see that I've got uh, Chrome already open. Let me go ahead and close the uh, Tautomation website here. Uh, and then let's go into um, Chrome. If you don't know how to get uh, to actual Postman, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can go to Google or you can just do a search for download Postman uh, and you'll get a pretty quick link that'll pop up, say download Postman. So we're gonna start with the Mac. Uh, my Mac has the Apple chip. So I'm just going to select uh, Mac Apple chip and you'll see it'll immediately start doing the download. Uh, I can pop up in my finder and I can go to Downloads, and here is my Postman for Mac uh, OS. So I'm just going to unzip that real fast. And there it is. So uh, pretty simple install here on a Mac. You just take it and you drop it in Applications. And now when I come down here to my Launchpad, I will see Postman. So, uh, as you can see, I've got uh, Postman already up and operational. I am going to minimize it. Um, you do want to create an account to use Postman. So, when you first go into it, um, okay, uh, it's really, really simple. When you come into the Postman website up here, uh, I call this the hamburger. When you click the hamburger, you can just click sign in or sign up for free. So. I already have an account. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account real fast. Uh, and since it is Google, I just use my uh, Google account already. And now I'm signed in. And it's the same way with it when you actually launch it. So I'm going to go ahead and just close, open up my Postman. And as you can see, my account is already signed in uh, here. So uh, pretty easy. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. Uh, because they're going to want you to have that account anyway. So that's the Mac. Let's move over into my Eve instance. And yep, this is a web browser, but it's uh, it's Windows, as you can see down here. Uh, so I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on the Mac. I'm just going to do download Postman. Okay. And same thing, same exact website, just instead of installing it for Mac, uh, I'm going to install it for Windows. So I'm just going to select the Windows 64-bit installer. And there it goes. It's downloading. Okay. Then I'm actually going to just start the install. I'm going to allow it to run. And this is a VM, so it's uh, a little bit slower, but it looks like it's almost done. And once again, if you don't have a Postman account, uh, if you have a Google account, you just sign it with Google. 
Um, I think most people have a Google account nowadays. If you don't, uh, just uh, spin one up real fast or just, you know, click on the um, create a new account. So once again, uh, because this is a, a different platform, now it's a VM inside Ethan G, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and already have an account. I'm going to click my login. As you can see, it's very easy. It's immediately going to prompt you to create that login. Uh, and then just sign in with Google again. Okay. And I'm, I'm not going to finish this piece of it. Um, it knows who I am. I'm not going to put my password in here. Uh, but at this particular point, uh, in order to launch Postman, uh, you would just continue the sign-in process. But that's the installation of Windows. Okay. Uh, so last step in this video is we're going to move on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this VM. Okay, and I'm going to move over to my Ubuntu desktop. My Ubuntu desktop actually opens up in this tab, as you can see it here. Uh, I'm going to log in. And once again, if, if you've never used even G for this type of stuff, uh, it's really, really cool. It allows you to use a bunch of different operating systems um, and create a bunch of different things. So inside Ubuntu, we're actually going to use the Ubuntu software app that should be installed. Uh, if you have updates uh, to the app, I've already made sure that my Ubuntu software is up to date. It uses a um, something called Snap, uh, and Snap is the, the software updates uh, inside Ubuntu. Um, you would have a bunch of updates over here. You, you would want to install any updates, especially any updates to Snap before you get started. Um, but I'm going to just go to Explore. Uh, so Explorer is going to be the apps that you can install for uh, Ubuntu. And I'm going to scroll down here to development. Postman's considered development, right? It's, it's APIs. Uh, so when I select development, uh, you get all the options for the software. So I'm just going to scroll down. It's, it's alphabetical till I get to P, but you can see there's a lot of development software in here. Once I get down to the P in the Postman, I'm just going to click it. Okay, I'm going to select install. Uh, it's obviously wants me to type uh, the password, standard stuff, and it's installing it as we can see right here. It's almost done. And there we're at, we're done. Uh, we're gonna set the permissions on what we want it to allow it to do, read access, read add change from passwords. No, we don't need all that. So at this point, I can close it in the applications. And then here's my Postman here. Uh, when I select it, it's immediately going to open. But once again, the first thing it's going to do uh, once it starts running, uh, remember this is a VM, so it takes just a second to start running. It'll open up. And once it's done opening, uh, it'll show up over here in my sidebar on the left. There it comes. And as it's starting up, once again, first thing it wants you to do is log in. So it takes you to the web to do the login. Um, that's it. Pretty simple to install it. Uh, that was installing Postman on uh, Mac OS, uh, Windows, PC, and Linux and Ubuntu. Uh, so next video after this is going to show how to install a collection, uh, which really make Postman useful using the collections because it's a bunch of, uh, of predefined uh, development work has already been done for you. So the IP API is already preloaded. You just have to put in some username and a password uh, and, you know, something specific to which collection that you're going to work on. Uh, my first video will actually showing you installing the collections for Meraki. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like, subscribe. I really like seeing that subscriber count uh, grow. Uh, it really does help. And if you have any questions, let me know. We'll talk to you all later, nerds. Bye.